Hi guys and welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is May, also known as Mrs. Leva, and I typically tend to do a lot of handbag related videos. I throw some outfit inspiration and fashion content from time to time. However, whenever my husband and I travel, I also like filming that and creating sort of a vlog to share with you what to do and kind of what I wore during that trip and also create a memory for us to be able to look back on. So today's video I feel will fall within the travel category. I actually wanted to compare two pieces that I currently have in my collection, which I feel are very similar but different at the same time. One of the main differences being that they are each at completely different ends of the price point spectrum. So without further ado, let me share the pieces that I will be comparing today and that is none other than one, my Negeti St. Bart's tote in the large size and second, the Louis Vuitton Kipo in the size 45. This is in the print Damier Graffite and I chose this one which is actually my husband's because I do feel that it's most comparable to the Negeti in the black color. So for today's video, we're actually going to be going over the specs, the prices of these two pieces. My personal Personal thoughts what I tend to pack inside and what other items you might be able to pack for example like laptops and at the end of the video I also wanted to share with you how it is that they each lay on a personal item okay I just realized that when I bring this one up it kind of washes me out so hopefully that won't be too distracting but let's go ahead and address the prices of these two pieces first the Louis Vuitton keep all in the size 45 in the canvas prints currently retails for 2440 I'm looking down because I have all of my notes there. Oh, why do you make me look so white? And then we have the Negeti St. Bart's tote. This one, as I mentioned, is in the size large. It is in the color Onyx on the website, but it's basically black. And this one retails for $315. I do want to point out that even though she does not have sales on her website, so the Negeti website per se, I have been able to find these go on sale in Shopbop. So if they are currently on sale, I'll make sure to link some down below. However, if you do sign up for the Negeti newsletter, you will get 10% off your first order. Now let's quickly go over the sizes of these two pieces. I will be saying them in inches, but I'll pop them up on the screen in centimeters. The Negeti Large does measure 22 inches in length, yes, length, 12 inches in height, and then 8 inches in depth. Just wanted to clarify, the 22 inches in length is from the top part. The base of this bag actually measures 15.7 inches. While the Louis Vuitton in the Damier Graffite in the size 45 measures 17.7 inches in length, 10.6 in height, and then 7.9 in depth. So let me go ahead and point out all of the things in regards to the Negeti, and then we'll dive into the Louis Vuitton Kipo, and then I'll share with you how it is that I pack each piece individually. So the Negeti is actually constructed of this neoprene material. It is a very durable and carefree material. You can actually machine wash it in a gentle cycle or you can just have a little small soft toothbrush and actually wash away any dirt or any stains that you might get on any of their pieces. As you can tell, this particular piece only offers a top handle which you can carry top handle like this or in the crook of your arm. However, the neoprene material will begin to stretch out over time as you carry more things inside. I have also heard of people actually adding things inside of the bag and just hanging it from a rod or from a door handle in order to make it more comfortably so when they are traveling they can just throw it over their shoulder which I feel is ideal. This specific piece has no interior pockets but you do have a pouch that comes with the item. It is a reasonably sized pouch as you can tell and you can fit in here a lot of essentials. All right, this video is going great so far. I realized that I maybe I shouldn't have worn black since you guys probably couldn't see the piece very well and then I started to get hot so I just opted for a tank top. As you can tell, we're very chill. I'm sitting on my floor, I'm wearing joggers. I wanna make sure that I'm very thorough in explaining everything to you guys in this video, so I want it to be as comfortable as possible. All right, so that was it for the Negeti St. Bart's in the large size. Let's head on over to the Louis Vuitton Kipo in the size 45. Now the material on this piece is a coated canvas as most canvas materials are. 
and then you do have a few leather pieces throughout including the top handle and a bandolier strap as well now in order to get inside of this piece you do have a double zipper which opens like so and then in the interior you only have one large slip pocket in the back which you can use to put like anything that you want to have easy access to now the similarities that i can pinpoint of these two pieces is obviously the carefree material we all know that canvas is a very durable material for the most part even though this is a travel piece and I do feel like you need to be a little bit more careful because you don't want to do anything to potentially crack the canvas. It's still one of the most durable materials that the fashion house offers. And then another similarity which you can pinpoint right from here is that they both do have a top handle. Now I do have a video which I filmed a few months back in how I packed my bandolier 45. I do have the Damier Ben bandolier which I just recently found out unfortunately has been discontinued and my heart was broken i feel like the damier ben print is so fun especially as a travel piece because you also have the treated leather pieces on that type of print so i feel like just like the damier graffiti it is another very good durable and carefree option as a travel item so i'm not gonna get too too into packing these pieces for like let's say a weekend getaway I just sort of wanted to pack them in the sense that you will be using these as like your personal item if you are traveling. I wanted to share with you what can potentially fit. And last but not least, I will be sharing with you guys how it is that they sit on a carry-on item as well. Really quick, I also wanted to share with you how these pieces look on me in particular. I am 5'3 and weigh about 155 pounds. So this is how they sit besides one another as you can see they are pretty much the same in length i wanted to put them one in front of the other kind of beside each other so you can see them a little bit better and then if i do wear them top handle then this is how they would look on me in particular okay so i have a ton of things on this end which we will be packing in each piece let's start off with the key ball in the size 45 and normally what i do is i just kind of stack things one in front of the other so i tend to always carry my toiletry 26 i'll also take like a clear toiletry bag sort of like this one it is currently empty because i don't have anything in it but my liquids and stuff will go in here then i'll probably take like my 19 and i'll put like the necessities that i know that i'm going to be probably using throughout the flight so like a packet of wipes some makeup wipe removers probably my contacts, my eyeglasses, and things like that will go in here. Then I wanted to share that a laptop does fit in both of these pieces. However, keep in mind specifically for the Keep All 45 because I don't tend to travel a lot with my laptop, but my husband does because he needs it for work. If you do overpack this piece, it can be a little bit uncomfortable to pack the laptop simply because the Keep All is sort of like a dome shape. I think that's what it's called. So you see it'll serve circle kind of in here and then if you do pack it it can sort of cause a little bit of friction on the side wherever it is that you choose to put the laptop the other option that you do have is actually placing the laptop in a cover and then just laying it in the bottom but then again i think i would be a little bit scared to pack it like that because you don't know if somebody might just grab this piece and kind of throw it to put it somewhere else and then there goes your laptop so let's just go ahead and place it on the side as i previously mentioned my husband had packed his i also grabbed a book to put inside you guys i don't read maybe i should start reading but it's never been my thing really <laughs> all right and then a few other goodies whenever i'm traveling i tend to go for like a key pouch like this as my wallet i'll put this in the back zipper compartment i always take my sunglasses with me in my personal item so i'll just pack that inside of the key ball itself my mini pochette just has like my essentials and then this will be the pouch that i use in the bag that i take for when i'm traveling around the city so this will always go with me all right so let me bring this up to you it is currently a little bit heavy so this is how she kind of looks inside hopefully you can see it's just basically placed one thing in front of the other depending how full my personal item is i will move some things and actually put them in here as well 
but for the most part what I like to do is actually leave this piece with some space because if I do any shopping then I know that I have a little bit of room to play around with here in order to bring those items back I also wanted to share with you in case that you wanted to take like a sweater or something you can definitely pack that in here as you can see in this particular case we still have a little bit of room and then let's just say you wanted to take like a little scarf or something to throw over top if you do get cold in the airplane you can also pack that as well all right so here we have it this is the oof, keep all 45 fully packed as you can see there are spaces that are still empty obviously because we didn't have this one packed to the brim but even if you do pack it to the brim i feel like you have to be very strategic as to where you place your things in order to make the most out of this piece just because of the shape that it does have, if that makes sense. All right, let me share with you how it is that she looks on top of my personal item. So here we have my personal item and this is the Away personal item, sorry, the Away carry-on. This is the smallest size, this isn't the larger option that they have. And then I can just go ahead and place her on top. We just keep it like this. And then it's very comfortable because it allows us to hold the top handle of the keepa along with the handle of the carry-on item and just go about our travels. Okay, and then now we have the Negeti Saint Bart's here. This is the larger size. I actually have yet to use this piece, hence the cardboard in the bottom. I bought it because we are planning on going to Cancun for my husband's birthday later on this month and this is gonna be my personal item that I wanna take. So let's go ahead and pack her together. All right, so here we go. Let's see how I can show you this one. Here is the Negeti, and right now it's the perfect example, which you can see that the top handle will start stretching and it actually becomes even more comfortable to just throw it over my arm like a shoulder bag, which I feel long-term is the exact way that I wanna be able to carry this piece. I feel like having the option of throwing it over your shoulder is ideal for a travel piece, so just wanted to point that out. I do feel like the Kipo has a tad bit more space to play with than the Negeti large tote bag. I'm gonna bring her up close as much as I can, and as you can see, the keypaw definitely had a few spaces on the sides that I can still play with in order to bring back stuff. While this one I feel like it's pretty much very well packed, it'll be very difficult for me to be able to add more things in here if I were to buy, let's say, like a bag or something. And then obviously you still have a little bit of space to throw over that sweater over top if you wanted to. And then here's the little scarf as well which I feel like it's perfect for this type of handbag because since she doesn't have a zipper, these two will kind of act as your closure in order to just cover everything that you have inside and not have anybody stick their hands in there wandering around. Now, one thing that I do love about these pieces is that they do come with a base shaper. So as you can see, even though she is extremely heavy, you do have the base shaper at the bottom, which allows the bag not to like lose its shape and become a beautiful mess. I feel like that base shaper is a really great detail that she added in all of her bags, no matter if you're talking about the mini one or going all the way to the large. All right, and then let's get on the carry on here with this one so this is how she will look very cute in my opinion i think they go really nicely and i really like as well that i can grab the top handle as well as grabbing the handle of the carry on piece it's just very comfortable for me to be able to move around the airport like this all right guys so i think that pretty much does it for this little comparison video i sort of just wanted to share with you guys the differences when you pack these pieces and which one more or less gives you a little bit more room to play with. At the end, I do feel like the Keep All 45 is still a better option size-wise. Even though the shape can be a little bit tricky to play with, I think if you pack intentionally in this piece, you can definitely make the most out of it and it will give you a little bit more space than the Negeti St. Bart's tote in the large size. However, putting all that aside, I still do feel like they are both very great personal items to consider. This one is still a really good, durable piece, very carefree, and at a great price point in my opinion. 
I feel like if you can spend the $2,500 on a travel personal piece, then by all means, go ahead and grab yourself a Keep All 45. But if you are searching for a more affordable piece that will still do the same job and you're okay with the small little differences that it does have from the Louis Vuitton Keep All, then this one you cannot go wrong with let me know down below if you have any of these two pieces if you find them to be similar or if you think that they are complete opposites and if you don't own any and were to pick one or the other as your personal item which would you choose as always thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today i will leave another video linked right here for you guys to check out next and i hope to catch you all in my next one bye everyone